right here we see the first portion of the small intestine. And this is named duodenum or duodenum, whatever you want to say it. Now, this is the pancreas. And right here, if you flip it, this is all the pancreas, okay? Now, if we look inside the pancreas, we have here this duct, which is named main pancreatic duct. And you can see here that we have another little duct that is just present in 30% of the people, and this is the accessory duct. So this is the main pancreatic duct right here. Now, let's look at this model right here. This is the duct that's bringing bio from the liver and from the gallbladder. And then this duct connects to the duodenum. This duct is named common bio duct. And the common bio duct and the main pancreatic duct, they open in the duodenum through this sphincter right here that you're seeing in green because bio is green. So since the bio goes through this sphincter, the sphincter is labeled in green. This is known as sphincter of Oldi or hepatopancreatic sphincter because passing through this sphincter, we have bio, hepato, and also pancreatic juice coming into the duodenum. So, hepatopancreatic sphincter or sphincter of Oldi. Now, other structures that we can identify in the model is this is the spleen. And then we see here, let's look on the posterior view. We see here an artery going towards the spleen. Consequently, this is the splenic artery. And we also see here a vein going towards the spleen. Consequently, this is the splenic vein. Now, can you notice right here that you have one artery and this splits into different branches? So this is a trunk and the trunk has branches. And this is specifically the celiac trunk. And the celiac trunk splits into something that goes towards the stomach and this is the left gastric artery. And then you have something that goes towards the spleen, the splenic artery and something that's going towards the liver and this is named common hepatic artery and when the common hepatic artery splits the branch that goes into the liver and is properly located within the liver is named hepatic artery proper now let's go back here this is the splenic vein and then here we have this blood vessel named superior mesenteric vein. Consequently, right next to it, we have the superior mesenteric artery. Now, if this is the superior mesenteric vein, this one that is coming more inferior is the inferior mesenteric vein. These three blood vessels that we're seeing here, they're bringing nutrients towards the liver. And all these nutrients are dumped into this blood vessel, which is a big portal. A portal opens into the liver and takes all these nutrients towards the liver. And this then is named hepatic portal vein. Now, this is the superior mesenteric vein. And this is the inferior mesenteric vein. Can you notice that this is going through the pancreas? And then if we flip the model on the other side, we see them here. So these are continuation of these two. Consequently, if this is the superior mesenteric vein, this one is the superior mesenteric vein as well. And if this one is the superior mesenteric artery, this is also the superior mesenteric artery. And this one keeps being the inferior mesenteric vein, even though when you look from this view, it seems like this one is a little above this. But remember, these two are continuing from this that we saw in this side.